In this tutorial, I will show how to use Radiance for more accurate daylight simulation and for other uh, sky conditions that Ecotech can simulate. You could, for example, have different proposal where you want to explore the different window layouts, how it affect the daylight inside the room. You could, for example, have a room this kind of window two three windows and the thing i'm doing here that's i'm looking at the same square meter of glazing so it is the same ratio between wall and window first you need to create a camera view inside the room i will go to 3d editor and from here i choose the camera and then i place a camera inside the room in this direction and I go to my side view because this camera view is in level 0 so I need to move it up and here I use the set tab so I can move it up in the height of your head and now I can go to the visualize view and go to the view I just created interior view 01 here you can see I have created some tables this is useful when I want to find out what the daylight level is on a table next step is to export this to radiance and I do that by going to calculate lightning analysis choosing export to radiance radiance is a third part application that can be downloaded free from the internet and it will open a separate dialog box where you have some possibility of changing the settings we are going through now and next I want to look at looks and not daylight factors because I want to look at the quality of light and step two I need to open the radiance control panel to do these kind of simulation next here I can choose which kind of sky condition I want to simulate with. If I want to do it the 21st of June, for example, then I should choose sunny day or in the spring, then I should use this intermediate sky or in the winter, the cloudy sky. I select the cloudy sky in this example. Here you can specify the date and time. Either you can use the current date and time that is shown up here or you can could specify it here directly in the dialog box next here you specify if it's an exterior or interior view i am doing an interior view and typical i never use the exterior views but it is a possible and of course the size i think it's okay for this here i can choose which view i want to export I recommend to just export one view, either the current 3D view or a selected cam view. This is the view I have chosen. I can see down here it's turned black and this tells me that it is the active view. Next, this is the accuracy of the, the rendered output or the resolution. You could just begin by choosing medium and then after you, you could choose high accuracy and the eight steps is where you specify where to save the the output file and here it's very crucial that you save the file in the same folder of where you have radiance choose a name without any spaces like you cannot have a space between case and au it should be without any spaces very important next and here you have the summary dialog. This is important. This check for material read files so it's know what kind of materials you're using and reflectance. And last, click OK. Radiance control panel opens. Here is the only thing you need to do that is press render. Here you actually have the possibility to change some of your already chosen settings, change the lightning detail or etc. It's also possible to change the reflectance of the materials. 
I will press render. Then it starts to calculate. And here it's here you will have the result of if you have a model with too many faces, it will take quite a long time to do the rendering and the simulation of the daylight. And after a while you'll get this image viewer where you have the rendered view. And depending on the amount of faces, it will take from one minute to an hour to render this view. In here you have different possibilities of an analytical views, contour lines, and press the green play button. Then we'll create a new view with different looks. When you want to create a new view, you have to go back to the original view, choose the new output style. And here you have a, another kind of contour bands with colored bands instead of lines. And this false color is also quite interesting uh, view. By changing the scale from 1000 to 200, you will get more color in the room because you are lowering the scale because the room is pretty dark with this kind of sky condition. Human sensitivity. This human sensitivity should reflect how you will experience this room with the contrasts. And daylight factors you can choose as well instead of looks. Here you need to type in the illuminance of the specific site. And I know for this site is 6000 looks. And I will do the calculation again. And here you have the daylight factor from 200 to 0. That's not that accurate. It should, not, it should be 10. Here you need to change the scale from 200 to 10 because it's in percentages and not value like logs. And if we go back to the original view, we can also control the exposure if you want to have it more bright. Here you also have the possibility of clicking in the picture and have a number that's telling you what is the logs factor exactly on this specific spot. That's why I have drawn this table so I can see what the lux value is on the table. And these pictures you can either copy to clipboard or save as images. The different output from radians I could copy and paste them into a document like this in Illustrator where I where I have combined the spatial outputs with plan analysis so I easily can compare room concept A, B and C and see how the differences is between the different window layouts.